hello and welcome back to TechWeb YouTube channel so today in this video we are going to have a look how you can uh, upgrade your Windows 7 8 or 10 from Windows 32 bit to Windows 64 bit so let's get straight to the video but before uh, starting I would like to advise you you need to check whether your computer is supporting your computer architecture is supporting Windows 64 bit you can just right click on my computer to check the configuration if it's saying that 64 bit based operating system so you can upgrade it so let's get straight to the video now and if it we if this video helped kindly subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon so now let's get straight to the video I'm just going to open the Google Chrome and you can open any browser and type media creation tool Windows or Microsoft and you can just search for if you're using for Windows 7 you need it for Windows 8 or you need it for Windows 10 so you can uh, click on that one so I'm going to use for a Windows 10 64 bit I need and then you can just click on the first link download ISO file but make sure uh, the website is for Microsoft so right click on click on there and it will be redirecting to this page so it will show you update now and then you need to select on download tool now so just click there and it will take some time approximately a minute time it depend upon your internet connection speed so it is approximately 18 MB in size and once it will be downloaded uh, you need to uh, click on that and after clicking on that it will take some more time to run and so we need to wait uh, approximately couple of minutes or couple of seconds and once it will be completed uh, the main page of this windows iso file will come into the screen and then we need to follow it from there so we just need to wait couple of seconds there and now it's just showing windows sign there windows logo so you need to wait couple of more seconds and here we go so I will just close this browser from there and now it's just opening and here we go so it's just saying getting few things ready so you also need to wait couple more seconds to get the things ready for your operating system and here we go so now you need to uh, click on accept and then it will take some more seconds to run the second process and then you can take it from there so now there will be the two options upgrade the PC now and create installation media USB so you need to click on second one so the first one will not work if you are going to use it and then you need to select the language and the edition and the architecture so make sure you are just uh, selecting the architecture as 6x64 bit so you need to click on 64 bit or you can just download the both then you can run 64 bit I'm going to use I'm going to use on 64 bit then click next and here you go so now we have two options this is the USB first and the second one is ISO file so if we are going to click on USB it will make it bootable and then you can uh, run uh, the bootable pen drive but I'm not going to use this option I'm just showing you this option I will just cancel this one and then after that I need to go onto the ISO file and I need to download the ISO file on my PC so just select the location where you want to save this file so I already have windows on this folder I will just save it in the other folder there so click on there and then I will uh, so select next and then so it's just processing now and it will take take approximately uh, an hour and it will take approximately your 4 to 5 GB of data as the file size is approximately 4 GB so you need to have good internet connection so now it's now downloaded and what you need to do is I will just uh, check here so this is approximately 4 GB is a file and now what you need to do is you need to uh, do one thing you need to use your US bootable USB so I'm going to use Vintai there are a lot of functions uh, on Vintai basically you don't need to make it bootable you just need to download the software and run you don't need to boot your PC it will boot your PC automatically so just Google uh, download Vintai and click on uh, download Vintai option there so after that you need to click on download so click on the first one 1.0.38 uh, it will be the zip file and uh, scroll down a bit and you will find the windows version there so click on windows version 
and it's approximately 12 MB in size so you need to wait a couple of seconds once it will be downloaded then you can take it from there so I hope this video will help you and if you have any questions you can ask me in the comments and I will try to respond to your comments so now it has been downloaded and uh, you need to extract the file so I have already extracted the file here so you just need to extra uh, click on extract here so this option will come and then there will be the application so you need to right click there run it as administrator else you can just click on that and open and after that you need to insert the boot uh, insert the uh, USB or pen drive and after that so you need to click on uh, this one uh, click here and then you need to click uh, yes and I already have bootable I already have done this process so it was just I was showing you so once you will done it uh, then you need to copy the windows so just click on windows ISO file which you have downloaded and paste it in the uh, pen drive and after this step uh, what you need to do is then you need to boot your PC so just restart your PC uh, I will just do this one first of all I will close these tabs from there and after that just give me a second I'm just opening this one so just right click there and you need to restart your PC okay so now I'm going to restart the PC so click here and then you need to restart okay so it's now restarting and it will take some time to restart approximately two to three minutes uh, so here we go so you don't need to boot the pen drive so it's now coming via uh, Windows ISO file so you just need to click there and it will redirect you to the other page and you need to wait some time and then you can select the configuration of the operating system click next and then you need to click on ins install now and it will take uh, some more seconds to run the setup file and after that uh, you need to select the uh, appropriate options which is shown on the second in the next page so here you can uh, select your operating system what operating system you are, what version you want if you if you need a pro uh, home version educational version whatever it's your choice then you can select the operating system click next and follow the steps the remaining steps and it will take approximately uh, 10 to 15 minutes so here we go so these are the two options which you need to take care of you need to uh, check all those steps and uh, so my recommendation will be to click on the second option to get things ready so this was the video and hope you enjoy this video uh, if so kindly subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon to receive our updates so if you need any help and if you have any queries or any suggestions you can ask me in comments uh, else I have an email address you can email me and I will try to respond to your queries via email as well as in comment section so hope this video has uh, helped you a lot and so thanks for watching and i will see you in the next video till that time take care of yourself